Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people, Omoyele Showore raises alarm over issue currently ongoing. He said, consigned the 2023, Showore speaks on plot to remove INEC chairman. He says there is a plot and is very much aware because everybody has to be careful, cautious of what they are saying now and today. Don't forget that uh, our very own brother, Femi Fani Kayode, was, uh, was with, uh, you know, uh, uh, EFCC where he was being grilled over what he said. Yes, he said he said some things and the EFCC grilled him for six hours. By the way, he's returning there on he's returning to EFCC on, on Wednesday to continue this discussion. He's returning to EFCC on Wednesday to continue this discussion. You know, and he said it, he opened his mouth and said he regret ever tweeting that and saying that uh, uh, you know uh, a large article Abu Bakr and this and that said he heard it from media. You've not confirmed it. You are a leader, leader figure. And look at what you are saying. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Omoyele Showare, the African Action Congress AAC presidential candidate, has said that there are plots to remove the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakub from office. Politics Nigeria reports that Professor Yakub on Monday met with leaders of political parties in Abuja ahead of 2023 general election. Speaking at the meeting, Showare said the people who want to remove Professor Yakub are the ones who are setting you up with all this private meeting of official meeting. He therefore canceled the INEC boss to be smart and come clean with Nigerians regarding the 2023 election. Today we hear matter that there may possibly but there is possibility that the election will be postponed is only a few days away. No matter what they are going to assure you, the people who want to remove you are the ones who are setting you up with all these private meetings of of official meeting and you should be very smart about it. If you feel you cannot hold the election cry out now don't get any assurance from anybody that you'll be protected showware assures him at the end of the day not just nigerians are you accountable to the world is watching and you have to tell the world tell nigerians what you've been doing and what you've been up to and every single person will want to hear accountability if you say you are ready to play and to make sure that the elections are done decently and in order. Everyone is watching. Don't forget that some of these people who are inviting you to a private meeting do not love you and you are not the object of their thoughts. They have other issues and they want to get you out of the place as soon as possible. So be wise. Know where you, where you begin and where you stop. Understand your boundaries and work with that. So my wonderful people, these are part of some of the things that are going on. And every single one of us must understand that, you know, these things are currently, you know, facing us all. And we can see very, we can see that, um, you know, whatever it is, it is up to you and I to ensure that, you know, the same thing does not crop up again and again. Omo Elisha Ware, according to him, says that there are people who want to get him out of office and want to take advantage of whatever it is that he's going through now, you know, to put him out of office and he needs to be wise. Well, Nigerians, for what Whatever is what, remember that you and I are in this together and we just have to ensure that the same people who have been, you know, putting Nigeria in a very terrible state because of what they will possibly gain are not given the opportunity to thrive because most of them, if not all of them, Nigerians are not their, are not their focus or their first foremost. Most of them have other issues. They have other matters. And if this country, you know, if this country gets into, uh, if this country becomes, if there's orderliness in the country, things are going well, there are systems in place, guess what? It will affect them. It will affect them drastically. Their business and, um, you know, those things that they do deceitfully and they get away with it, they may not be able to get away with it. So they are very cautious and they, that's why they don't want you, they don't want you at all in any way. They don't want you to, they don't want you to, to stand and just, you know, pretend that everything is going well. And, you know, they just want you to act as if, you know, everything is well, you know. So this, you know, this is, uh, this is what is happening. 
Nigerians wake up, it is the dawn of a new day. Okay, this is the dawn of a new day. Every single one of us are in this together and we must arise and do not allow the same thing to hold us down. Every time we allow people who have no iota of concern to be our leaders, these are some of the things that we experience. These are some of the things that goes on and every one of us, we are duty bound to ensure that, you know, we do not allow the same people. Okay. We have an opportunity to make a change. What are we doing about it? You do, I do. We have an opportunity to make a genuine change that will affect us all positively. Are you just going to sit back there and do nothing about it? Oh dear. If you do that, then you are, you are not wise. Then we are not wise. We never, we've never learned anything from the suffering we've been currently going through. I saw an old man, okay, an aged man yesterday, you know, was crying. He was crying. Why is he crying? Why was he crying? He has money. He said he has not eaten since morning. He has not eaten since morning. He has money in the bank but could not assess it. He wanted to buy some medications but could not buy it. You know, he wanted to, you know, he wanted to get some medications which he could not get. So it is, it is a matter of urgent attention and every single one of us must ensure that, you know, we do what is necessary and needed, okay, to bring this country right back on track. Let's not allow any single person take advantage of us, okay? Let's not allow it. By the end of the day, we'll be the one to live with in, in regret instead of rising up and ensuring that we, 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 we stand up to the occasion, we'll be the one to live in such a regret. So it is a matter of urgent attention and every single one of us must, must know our part in all of this. We must play our part dutifully, honestly, sincerely and truly so that we can truly, you know, make a headway and make a good start as a nation and, you know, get on and get things, you know, done decently and in order. Yes. So my wonderful people, it is what it is. It is what it is. Please don't forget you are important. You are important. And that's why this, this um, election is not for some people. It's for every one of us. Okay? It's for every one of us. None of us can sit back there and say, ah, no, no, no. We must all rise up together and ensure that at the end of the day, we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring Nigeria out of the current predicament and bring us to where we ought to be. That's the way we can truly make, you know, we can truly forge ahead. Anyway, my lovely people, the ball is in our court. It is in our court. Yes, and so let's do that which is needed, right and necessary. God bless. Bye for now.